Hello and welcome to the WHS Journal Public Affairs Program. I'm Jerry Williams. Join me now for part two of my conversation with Joe Young, president of Joe Young Entertainment and president and co-founder of Hartford's Got Talent. And today you'll hear Joe talk about how Hartford Got Talent got started and more. That's happening now on the WHS Journal. It's news and public affairs. So when people say, Joe, you work hard, actually, I'm having fun doing what I love. Right. And I can't wait to get up. So but I, now the ch- problem with people with purposes is the balance in their life. You know, that's where I do have the challenges where yeah. they might be right. Get a life. You yeah. know, are you fair to your family? Because you work right. so much. You right. know, so Because you're so I, driven. I got to work on it, man. I got to work on right. it. Right. This is something I didn't know. I've seen online all the photos of all the celebrities that you've been connected with and you're flying back and forth <laughs> from coast to coast and like recently i saw you with Smokey robinson yeah Smokey's one of my clients what did you do with Smokey recently Smokey, i was at a picnic once and he recited this poem called black american which is a controversial poem do you want to be called black american do you want to call african-american and he gives his uh, viewpoint on why he wants to be called black american and so I heard it. Actually, I was with Miss Rabina when it happened. I said, Smokey, I want to animate this thing, man. It's so powerful. And he said, okay. But it took a year, man, because he's flying all over the place doing concerts at 80, man, like he's at 20 80. years old. At 80. And so couldn't make schedules meet, but I never gave up. And we stepped, start connecting with his manager, and it finally happened. Went out to L.A., and we recorded it, and we animated it. And that's a lesson. When folks try to get to folks like myself or someone like you, Jerry, and you're not able to respond, don't get mad. Don't think they're trying to ignore you. Right. They just got a lot of stuff going on. Right. And so don't squander that because you're in your feelings about it. You got to put yourself in their shoes. You don't know. They might even be dealing with a tragedy right. that you don't know. what. And then they they want you to you want to be put on. They got their own kids trying to be put on by them. Yeah. So, you know, wait your line and say, what's in it for them? Two, not just you. But anyways, a year passed and we animated it. It went in festivals. And then I get the call. Joe uh, Smokey's going to be on The View with Whoopi Goldberg and Sonny Hostin. And they played the animation. So I had no idea it was going to be on ABC's The View. Wow. And so you never give up. But it's a, it's a powerful piece. So work with Smokey and some other. Bernadette Stannis is a friend and... And so God has blessed me with all these people of notoriety, but I look at them the same way I look at you, Jerry, or I look at Miss Rabina. Right. Right. They just have more exposure on what, what, what they're doing, but they right. they got flaws and everything else. So it's not right. all that is a matter of fact, I wouldn't want that spotlight. I'd rather have the spotlight on my character than I do myself because people want it, but you don't really know what the price is to have your privacy right. taken away. Right. You heard him mention the name Bernadette Stannis. In case you don't know who that is, you might remember the character Thelma on Good Times in the 70s. <laughs> and Jerry, you were in a film called The Big Shot, the pilot with Bernadette Stannis. Yes. And you killed it at the conference. Day. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. It was fun. That was, that was fun. That was fun. So who are some of the other celebrities that you can recall over the years that I've seen you in photos with that were memorable, that, that well, maybe there, said there, something there, that was inspirational. I'm or trying something. to think who the most down earth, but again, you know, I'm the uh, vice chair of the board of trustees for the University of Bridgeport, and I work closely with good ones. So one of my tasks during the year is to bring in celebrity speakers. Okay. You, you know, or, or well-known people. We had attorney... Uh, civil rights attorney uh, Benjamin Crump last year. We brought in Danny Glover, uh, people like that. I think the most um, down-to-earth celebrity I was most impressed with by the, out of all of them, I'm impressed with all of them because of what they've done, but I would have to say Chris Parker cares won the rapper. Mm. We must learn something. Right. To, you know, he was probably the most down-to-earth, most inspiring entertainer I've ever met. KRS one. You must learn. learn. Yeah, yeah, Chris Park. He's God, a, he's still he's around. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant man. You're constantly doing workshops. 
I've seen you in libraries, mm-hmm. you know, teaching kids various things. In fact, my kid just went through <laughs> the Brother Carl Digital Arts Program, and he did such a great job. He's a chip off the old block. You, you and uh, Belinda did a great job with your son. Kudos to you. Salute. You know, because of you, I must say what you didn't know, every year it's a tradition for the last several years to go to uh, this event called Soul Fest in uh, New Hampshire, not far from beautiful Lake Winnipesaukee. Soul Fest is New England's premier multi-day Christian music festival. We go out there and camp out for a week, do that, and then immediately I drive him upstate New York to go wow. to Word of Life camp. Well, th- this year was different because he was part of your digital arts program digital arts program where he was learning computer gaming animation social media you know what's really cool most parents have to pay for the program yeah but we offered it to them this collegiate level program yeah. and they got paid because it was a job now it wasn't easy yeah it, you, yeah. you know but they got through it because i want to show entrepreneurism and bring something to these kids because even though we hear a lot about the gun violence when i see Kids like your son, man, I, I'm, I'm inspired, man. I said, there is hope. And and the thing about it, it overlapped our little New Hampshire to the concert and camp. So I said, okay, you know, uh, we're due to go to New Hampshire next week. What do you want to do? You want to go and do Soul Fest and, and go to camp for two weeks? Or you want to continue on with Joe Young's digital arts program? He said, I want to continue on with the program. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> But what you just said, and I, I, mean, I wish he experiences that, but that makes me feel, Yeah, that's what it's about. That feeling you do, you could have given me $10,000 right now, Jerry. What you said, said yeah. meant more to me yeah. than that. Yeah. And that's what we do every year for years. Your program impacted him to the point where he canceled a two-week tradition to finish out with what you had to offer. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I feel good. Hopefully it wasn't some little girl he was really seeing. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> what if it was? He's, I he's a good-looking, charismatic dude. So. <laughs> what if it was a girl that I, I, I haven't found out yet? But No, uh, no I'm just messing. No, yeah. he was so focused on yeah. the work. It was just amazing to see him. But I appreciate that, Jerry. Before we close out, Hartford's Got Talent. Yes. That is a baby of yours. Oh, my God. And... Uh, yep. That was amazing. And and we got audition. Talk about the genesis, how it all began. Bob Patricelli, you know, he's a serial businessman in Hartford and me. We're old friends and we're having breakfast. And we said, how can we try in our own way to curb gun violence in our own little way? There's no one solution. And he asked me, I said, the only thing I know, Bob, is the arts. You know, I've seen how it can prevent certain things from happening. Uh, but how we could, and he said, Joe, I've always had this idea called Harvard's Got Talent. And he said, Joe, you down? You want to do this? I'm like, I'm so busy. And Bob was like, you know, when Bob talks, you know, you listen. And we created Harvard's Got Talent in a short period of time. We use people from um, my organization, Joe Young Entertainment, and we got them on Harvard's Got Talent using that same system, and we brought more people on, and it just blew up. The first year, man, we gave out over 25000 in prizes and awards. We had over 250 people audition the first year. Uh, then we had semifinals, and then we had the finals. Well, people got professional development, and we sold out the Belding Theater, man, and Harford, and we're going to do it again, man. We rinse and repeat. We're about to do it again. Auditions start in September. Go to the website, harfordsgottalent.org, and it's all ages, man, from 8 to 108 or whatever. And just see see what happens, man. Just want to have fun. But our motto is showcasing talent and the main thing, connecting community. And we want to connect community. So if you live within the greater Hartford Art, uh, County, you'll see the towns and cities where you can participate. Come on out or just come out and enjoy. If you're looking to volunteer or help out, hit us up. He's Joe Young for Joe Young Entertainment. God bless you, man. And I'm looking you, forward to the uh, second year of Hartford's Got Talent. Again, uh, audition starts next month, September. We're going to be at the Hartford Library again? Yeah, Hartford Library. And we got a lot of surprises, some celebrities coming in. It's going to be bigger and better, man, than last year because we learned a lot, too. Yeah. Yep. Great turnout. Yep. Joe Young, thank you for your time, brother. Thank you, brother. Peace. Peace. That was Joe Young. 
president of Joe Young Entertainment. And once again, the annual Hartford's Got Talent auditions begin next month in September at the Hartford Library. If you would like more information about what you heard today, call WHS 860-346-1049, 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily of those of the staff or management of the station. I'm Jerry Williams for the WHS Journal. It's news and public affairs.